finals. And if Mixup wins, we'll move on to game number three on Volskaya Industries. But here we go. Double May on the attack. Siegel and Milo both playing May here for Lijing Point A. On the other side, we have zero Mays. Who will main supreme? Let's see here. Internet hold on Reaper. Gunning down one of those Mays very quickly. Milo and Siegel actually are both down incredibly quickly. And IDDQD has just steamrolled onto the point. There's no tanks here uh, for the uh, for the mix-up squad. They are sticking to May. it looks like. Oh no, Seagull is going to go on to Genji. We've got three Zenyatas though. I don't know what is happening. I must not know anything about the King of the Hill meta, but three Zenyatas is something I did not expect. Okay, so Pyro and Esper on Zenyatta. Milo on Lucio. Seagull. <laughs> oh, Seagull and Enigma. I see. They're going to do the Harmony Orb plus 50 HP strat. So let's go ahead and watch Seagull try and get his work done. He's got quite a lot of work to do here as a Genji with just 200 HP and that Symmetra Shield and Harmony Orb. Yeah, just one Roadhog combo still is enough to just take him out completely. Watching Milo now playing Lucio might be able to get a boop off the side. But it looks like finally some kills are going the way of mix-up. Harblu and Pyro getting some kills on Internet Hold. Chips is down. Uh, Enigma doing a good job on Tracer, also with a Harmony Orb and 200 HP. Tracer Bomb is available. Oh, I just noticed why the overlay is different, because they actually quote-unquote fixed the overlay where when you hit Tab, it doesn't go over the player's portrait and abilities anymore. It used to just be overlaid on top of it, and now it's two separate screens. I see. So that's very helpful. Uh, that was a sticky bomb directly onto uh, McCree there, but it looked like he actually survived somehow. Maybe it was not directly onto him. Enigma still staying alive though with that Harmony Orb, going after the Widowmaker now. Surprised to actually see a Widowmaker in play here, uh, since Genji and Tracer will both have 200 HP with Symmetra on the team. Harblue actually has a Teleporter available, so we'll see where he places that. Actually just around the corner from the point on the ledge itself. Very interesting stuff there. Harblue is going to have some time now to set up his Symmetra turrets as well. Uh, I'm going to have to watch Seagull as he's basically one of the only offensive characters here that can protect these squishies on the point. Everyone on the team has 200 HP. Milo actually 250 HP. Everyone else 200. It's very interesting. No tank still. Uh, now on either side. There's a nice kill onto Coco. McCree being played by Pluppy, trying to get some damage in. Seagull with that Harmony Orb and plus 50 HP still not afraid of him. Gonna just dive right in, take him out. Internet Hulk and Chips both go down as well. Lucio goes down to the Genji Sword, as does Coco. So uh, good stuff there from Mixup, holding onto the point after they reclaimed it. Things have been going well. The double May did not quite work out. But switching back to the Genji Tracer buff comp is actually working quite well. 90% now. We'll see if IDDQD has a, the ability to take over here. Switching over to Pluppy's POV here for that Deadeye. No, he's going to get chopped in half by Seagull, who does have the sound barrier buff on him. Now he's back down to regular HP, but still getting the job done here against Farah. Good slash there. Doesn't quite kill him, but he does pick off the Reaper with that Discord Orb. Two Zens means two Harmony Orbs and two Discord Orbs. They don't stack anymore, but they're still pretty potent. And there is point one going the way of Mixup after the very much needed composition switch. If everyone performs their function, victory is assured. Okay, point number two is a bit of a different story than point A. The uh, bounce-off potential is real. I cannot get out of this shuttle. I thought I could. There's three exit points, and I actually can't leave any of them as a spectator. Here we go, the door is open. So, uh, point B here, you probably all know from watching streams and playing the game yourself, if you're that lucky to be in the beta, uh, these bridges are extremely treacherous for being knocked off by Farah or by Lucio, but there's actually no Farah and only one Lucio on either side. They are sticking to the Genji Tracer buff comp for mix-up and on 
IDDQD, they have actually got a Hanzo in play, so I'm going to go actually switch to Pluffy now and see what his Hanzo is able to accomplish. Coco is actually the first person down. Discorded Roadhog doesn't stand up too long against millions of incoming projectiles. He doesn't have a barrier. And Pluffy just sinking arrow after arrow into the bad guys here. Pyro is kind of the last man standing here for mix-up. And he is going to be forced to retreat and regroup. Sound barrier is almost ready for Never Give Up and IDDQD. I do have early control of the point. I'm actually going to zoom out now. Take a look overhead at what Mixup is going to be doing. They are sending Genji and Tracer around to the right side while the supports all kind of just hang back. There's no tank in place still for either side again. Now two Zens on um, Pluppy's side on IGDQD if we get two Zen Yadas. So Harmony Orbs and Discord Orbs still ruling the day despite the nerf earlier this week uh, to remove Harmony Orb stacking and Discord Orb stacking. It looks like both sides still hev heavily favoring that Discord Orb and Zenyatta himself with that Transcendence Ultimate is also incredibly valuable. Seagull now moving in with his uh, Harmony Orb, Pyro popping Tranquility to get people onto the point, Harblue setting up some Symmetra turrets as quick as he can, while they do have some minor control of the point, Internet Hulk with that Death Blossom along with Chips on his Tranquility, both Tranquilities going on at the same time, so nothing's going to die here, Genji Sword is out, Seagull does get the Deflect kill onto Reaper. Hopping into the air is Mendo, who gets taken out very quickly by Harblue, of all people, probably with that Void Ray laser of Symmetra. Setting up turrets once again on the point. Harblue, I don't know if he actually has a teleporter set up. I don't see one anywhere. No, I don't see the X-ray of a teleporter anywhere. Oh, it's actually way in the back here. All the way in this hut, but it does cut the runtime significantly, and no one really ever goes over there, so it could be difficult for the enemy team to try and find it. Mendo on Genji does have an opportunity to do that. He actually switched uh, characters here. No, Pluppy actually switched characters off of Hanzo. Mendo was playing Genji already. So we have double Genji, double Zen, Symmetra, and Lucio, rather than the Tracer and Genji that Mixup is running. And right now, uh, because I am uh, spectating Mendo, let's, I'll actually have to back out. Let's see. It's hard to tell which team actually has control at this point. The blue team is trying to take control. Mixup does have control currently. And they did win that first round. So they are milking this as much as they can. Coco with his uh, tranquility means that the blue members here are not going to be dying. Actually, I, that's a lie. Enigma's Pulse Bomb was enough to actually blow up both Pluppy and never give up. Huge ult there from Enigma to get the momentum back on Mixup's side. Mendo with the slash through does help pick off Tracer there. And now the red team can kind of scoop. Uh, actually, just sit back. If they just sit back, they can continue to get these kills on the incoming attackers. They're all very squishy. Again, no tanks. As long as they can just get one kill at a time on the incoming players, Mendo... Oh, never give up on Lucio, just showing us how it's done with the wall ride. Is he going to be able to get back up, though? No, actually, he fell all the way down. Had no way to actually get back up there. That was a valiant effort, but he actually cost him uh, a few seconds of wall riding there to get back and to play faster. Chips with the Tranquility to get back onto the point, but the red team, Seagull and Mixup, just chopping up everybody. It looks like Lee Jang most likely going to go the way of Mixup. This fight could still go either way. Never Give Up has arrived with his sound barrier, but the buff hits basically nothing. And once Lucio goes down, overtime is going to start to tick. Mendo has switched over to Tracer now off of Genji. There's the teleporter. The enemy teleporter is just right in the face of Mendo. Mendo dashes on the point, but it's going to be too slow. And... GG goes to uh, mix up. We're going to go to see a game three on Volskaya of all places. Play of the game.